hello. So the big question is, do you know your call? And usually when you hear, do you know your call? A lot of people, yeah. Um, you know my, uh, my calling is to do so-and-so because of so-and-so. Talking about the spiritual gifts. And, and to a degree, that is right. And that's the way I've always thought. But I never really thought about too much of the other things. Just recently, I went to a Bible study with a uh, pastor that has, if you even want to call him a pastor, because uh, he's so much more than that. He's uh, like an Apostle Paul. Started so many churches. And still so humble and just a common man. Very gentle, very down to earth, not thinks he's better than anybody else, and he always gives you his time. True man of God. Well, he held a Bible study, and we were going through uh, the first chapter of Corinthians. And it was kind of strange. It's like he's going to start out from the very beginning of first Corinthians, and it's like we're going to start out there? Okay. No, there's nothing wrong with the introductions. I just never really thought too much of the introductions. Thought of the introductions as um, the saints and stuff. And, you know, the because the saints is, uh, I use it more for talking to Catholics who try to say that the saints are... Uh, somebody that's perfect and has met the church qualifications and Paul says your sins. Well, in this particular chapter, it's a little different. At the very beginning of uh, uh, Corinthians, um, we see something very, very interesting. And uh, so let's, let's take a look. And as we do, we're going to see something really Quite, quite interesting as uh, the Apostle Paul, he knew who he was called to be. Paul was called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ through the will of God. And then it says, and our brother Sosnes. So he, he knew who he was. He, he knew what he was called to be. He was called to be an apostle, one sent forth of Jesus Christ, not sent forth of uh, another uh, uh, of the apostles and became a disciple and another disciple sent another disciple. He was called to be an apostle, even though he was outside of the time uh, of the 12. He was chosen out of a different time and he was chosen for a different purpose. He was chosen for the Gentiles. They were for the Jews, even though. There were some that talked to Gentiles, and he did talk to some Jews. But overall, that was that was his call. He knew he was called to be an apostle through the will of God. Not his will, not the will of the other apostles, but the will of God. Direct call. And he knew it. And our brother, Sosnes. Now, we'll get into Sosnes in a little bit. But uh, I want to uh, show you something that uh, just jumped out as me as he started reading this. And he was putting all the focus on Paul. And right as he did, man, just jumped out and said, To the assembly of God, which is at Corinth. Talking about the church, and that's what they called them, assemblies. Uh, there was different times they called them uh, uh, Ecclesia, uh, which was church. And it says, those... Who are sanctified in Christ Jesus called saints. With all who call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in every place 
both theirs and ours. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and Lord Jesus Christ. So that's 1 Corinthians chapter 1, 1 through 3. Now, it says that those who are sanctified in Christ Jesus and called saints. They're called to be saints. Now, here's what the real interesting revelation is. Is they were called to be saints. Now, I'm a former Marine. And you know, mine was a mechanical one, and there's others that had um, uh, infantry, and there was uh, the admin, and there was the uh, uh, radio uh, communication, there was the motor T was the air conditioning, it was the electric, electrical. And then there was the uh, uh, chaplain assistance. There was the uh, medical assistance, of course, mainly Navy, but there, there was some Marines uh, support for that. And, um, or the ones that were the special guards, guard duty. MP, military police, and, and uh, or the one on embassy duty. Different, different calls. Different calls all had a different purpose. But, but, regardless of that, you're always taught from the very, very, very basics of training is you're called first and foremost to be a warrior. And, and uh, you need to learn to shoot again, because in a time of war, bye bye. Here's your gun. Go fight. That is your your number one is infantry. Doesn't matter what you signed up for. You're a rifleman. And uh, we'll see. That's the same thing. That is the same exact thing as um, we're, we may be called to a certain gift, pastor, teacher, evangelist, apostle, and prophet. But the thing is, there's everybody's called, all of us. Are called to be saints to be sanctified what does that mean to be set apart we're called to be set apart that's your number one call before you do anything else and even as you go through your thing you need to be set apart that means different than the world different than those around you you are called to be set apart that's your number one call regardless of what you're doing you're called to be set apart, not of this world. You're not of this world. You're, 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 you're not even, you don't even belong. Your citizenship no longer belongs here. Your citizenship is of the heavenly one. You no longer have a master that, uh, that has control over you and is a schoolmaster. You're no longer a slave to sin. Now, you're, you're, uh, you have a different master that loves you, that wants the best for you. And that's where the gifts come in. Now, we have the normal, regular gifts. And sometimes there are some people that operate in those gifts, and it's not wrong. That's, some have very high callings, some have lower doesn't matter it's not one's better than the other we all work together for one purpose it, it is to, to to be the different parts of the body and to function as one body with Christ as the head what does that mean 
that means that even though there's a pastor and even though he's supposed to lead and do all that he's supposed to be led of, of Christ not of himself because Christ is to be the brains and the head the one that moves the whole body and when he turns even though another part is the eye another part is the nose the mouth the ears the you know um and the neck you better hope you don't have a stiff neck because you won't be able to turn um uh, so you you, you you see um he's got to be the one that controls that turns so we just want to make sure that, that that we got it right